Blog Talk Radio.
Once again, it's the music of Lionel Jones taken from the seat. Taken from the CD, oh man, I was thinking about CP, what is on my mind? <laughs> Lionel Jones, entitled Expressions. Well, Shalom Israel, and the rest of you, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you and yours, wherever you are, on this world's wide way you are listening to let's talk brought to you by the men empowered organization on the block talk radio network at blocktalkradio.com my name guess who i am my name is my name is remember that rap song Well, my name is Brother Malachi, also known as Eunice B. Dye's grandson, also known as LaRue and James Heron's son, also known as Mo. Well, let's just leave it at Malachi. I'm here to bring you the truth and nothing more but the truth. The truth, absolute knowledge and truth. Today, it is a Tuesday, October the 8th, 2013. If you like to join in on our show, Conversating, you can hit us up while we are here live. At 347-205-9279. And if you want to be shy, the chat room is now open for you. That's right. If you have a question or a comment, you can just tiptoe through the tulips and put it in the chat room. And we will get to you momentarily. As always, our office here number is area code 504-484-9388. Yes, we are in the greater New Orleans, Louisiana area, as well as in Hattiesburg and Laurel, Mississippi. And that number is 601-297-29. And don't forget, our email address is menempowered to prosper at yahoo.com. You can follow along with us at twitter.com. And that address is menempowered at twitter.com. Tonight's episode is Late Night with the Book of Jasher, Chapter 57. We will get started momentarily right after this music break. So get your pen, get your paper, and take notes because we're going to go forth and do this thing right here on Let's Talk.
organization right here on the Block Talk Radio Network. Our phone lines are open right here at 347-205-9279. Brother Malachi, why are you jumpy tonight? Why are you so up right now? Well, you know, we've been studying this word right now for quite some time now, and it is scheduled to end at the end of the month. That's right. The book of Jasher, we're going through 91 chapters. So beginning probably next week or the week after, we will be doubling up because we want to go ahead and be right on time and on schedule. I've just been hearing and learning about my forefathers. And, you know, it's like this, man. You know, Israel, you guys are, you know, y'all are just some powerful, powerful people. But if you don't know this man, you can't be squat. But if you do know this man, just like Hosea 4 says, the Most High, our Father, says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So if you don't have the knowledge, then you are destroyed. But because you have the knowledge now, then you are all powerful says the most high if you can just kind of look at that and turn it around you know who you are we the chosen one yeah but there's come a responsibility of being chosen you've got to do what you gotta do to be chosen you got to obey the commandment but brother Malachi the commandments were good done away with who says Christ said, I did not come to destroy the law. I came to fulfill them. So if he came to fulfill them, then the law is still in effect. So be accountable for what you hear. We are going to get right into the book of Jasher, chapter, chapter 57. And it's probably only about 30, 40, 45 verses. So we're going to smooth right along. 
And uh, depending on how long can I go, we're going to take another music bait at the halfway point of the book of Jash. Because I tell you, it's a lot of reading to do. And I don't have a reader, so I am the reader and the elaborator. So you all, I'm from the South. Y'all just kind of bear with me and listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth because we are going to get started. You know why I'm excited? I'm excited if be, I'm excited because we are fulfilling the promises according to the Most High. We are fulfilling scripture right now as we speak. We are getting ready to go into time. No matter what you try to do, you cannot stop prophecy. It is what it is. And right now, we are going to the book of Jasher, chapter 57. Whoa, I don't know what's something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. He owns something. Yes, I'm on the word. It's going to be a good night, Israel. And for all you Gentiles, we're going to do this thing. Jasher chapter 57 and verse 1. And it was after this that the sons of Esau waged war with the sons of Jacob, who are the Esau's the sons of We've been talking about it for quite some time now. Don't all y'all raise your hand at one time. You know who the sons of Esau are. They are in the earth today. Let's just say they are the ones that are in power today. In all the industrial economic countries, they are in power today. And you know who the sons of Jacob are this day. They are not the ones that are in power today. They are the lower class. If you're looking at them overall, they are the dark skin people of color. That's right. Not only the Negroes here in America, as well as Canada and parts of Brazil, but you got the native Indians, the native Indians who are the tribe of Gad. And let's not forget those folks that work all the time. They're always holding down a job. And if you know who the, what the Hebrew meaning for Issachar is, it says for a hire. He is a hire. He always going to be getting a job. They're going to work it. They're going to work. They're going to sell. They're going to do something. But Issachar are the Mexicans today, not only in Mexico, but the ones that came from Mexico into here, there are the descendants, as well as in Central and parts of South America. These are the players in the book of Jasher. They are the sons of Jacob. You know who the Levites are. The Levites are the Haitians. You know who Simeon is. Simeon is the Dominicans. In the Dominican Republic. You know who the Benjamites are. The ben, you know who Benjamin's descendants are. Benjamin is the Jamaican's man. They always coming with you with some long hair braids and some dreadlocks man. And we're going to get some black beans man. We are the tribe of Benjamin man. No, I'm not from the tribe of Benjamin I am from Judah. Just to get you started. So let's continue now. Now that we know the players and who the players are in the book of Jasher, the sons of Jacob, man. Verse 1 again. And it was after this that the sons of Esau waged war with the sons of Jacob. And the sons of Esau fought with the sons of Jacob in Hebron. That's right, in Hebron. And Esau was still laying dead and not buried. That's right, the rascal got himself 
kill. Verse 2, and the battle was heavy between them, and the sons of Esau were smitten before the sons of Jacob. And the sons of Jacob slew of the sons of Esau eighty men. And not one died of the people of the sons of Jacob. And the hand of Joseph prevailed over all the people of the sons of Esau. And he took Zippor, the son of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, and fifty of his men captive. And he bound them with chains of iron and gave them into the hands of his servants. To bring them to Egypt. Verse 3. And it came to pass when the sons of Jacob had taken Zepho and his people captive, all those that remained were greatly afraid of their lives. Yes, you would be afraid from the house of Esau, lest they should also be taken captive. And they all fled with Eliphaz, the son of Esau, and his people. With Esau's body, and they went on their road to Mount Seir. Four, and they came unto Mount Seir, and they buried Esau in Seir. But they had not brought his head with them to Seir, for it was buried in that place where the battle had been in Hebron. Verse 5 of the book of Jasher, chapter 57. And it came to pass, when the sons of Esau had fled from before the sons of Jacob, the sons of Jacob pursued them unto the borders of Seir. But they did not slay a single man from amongst them when they pursued them. For Esau's body, which they carried with them, is sighted their confusion. So they fled, and the sons of Jacob turned back from them and came up to the place where their brethren were in Hebron. And they remained there on that day and on the next day until they rested from the battle. Verse 6. And it came to pass on the third day they assembled all the sons of Seir and the Horites, and they assembled all the children of the east, a multitude of people like the sand of the sea. And they went and came down to Egypt to fight with Joseph and his brethren in order to deliver their brother. Bad choice. Bad choice for Esau. Verse 7. And Joseph and all the sons of Jacob heard that the sons of Esau and the children of the east had come upon them in battle in order to deliver their brethren. Verse 8, And Joseph and his brethren and the strong men of Egypt went forth and fought in the city of Ramesh, and Joseph and his brethren dealt out a tremendous blow among the sons of Esau and the children of the east. Now, how in the world can the Egyptians turn on a strong people and enslave them after we combine together and save Egypt? This is what I call black-on-black -black crime when this other pharaoh came into power. When he came into power, he enslaved the Israelites. Now, how can that happen? That's right. The Israelites, not Judah, the Israelites. Judah just makes up one tribe, Negroes. The Haitians, the Jamaicans. And don't forget the Native Americans. There were 12 tribes that went into captivity in Egypt, all of them, the native Indians, the Mexicans, the descendants, we are the descendants, the Negroes. It wasn't just Negroes there. It was all the people of color in that country, that land of Egypt. 
we all went into captivity. And when we got out of that captivity, the northern tribe left their area and went over into Aseret. Now, we said before, what is the land of Aseret? The land of Aseret is North and South America. They went over there, and you know what that means in Hebrew? It means hidden land. For centuries, that land was hidden to Esau's descendants. That land was hidden to the rest of the world who thought the world was flat until Christopher Columbus got wise and opened up the Bible, the 1611 edition that that had the complete scriptures, all the books completed in the Bible. He opened it up and he found out where the northern tribe went. And he went to his overseers and told them about this venture. They financed it. He came over here, and the rest is history. How can you, as Brother Malcolm said, how can you discover something that was already discovered? Hmm, I think I'm going to discover something. Aha, I see a TV. I'm going to call this a television. Yes, I know someone already had invented it, but now I'm going to take the credit and give the credit to me. And they're going to name a holiday after me and call it Holiday Malachi. I like that. I love that. Huh. Let them have a picture of me on the wall and let them see and glorify me for me discovered the television. That's right. In 2013, Malachi, right here in the United States, discovered the television. No one else can claim this but me. And now I'm going to create a holiday and call it Malachi Day. Yes, I think I'll do that. How dumb does that sound? How dumb does Christopher Columbus sound when he say he discovered America and America was already here inhabited with people known as the Northern Tribe of Israel? Come on, give me a natural brain break. All right, Malachi, let's move on. Let's not get explosive here. We want to mellow out. Okay, where were we? Verse 9. We are in verse 9. And they slew of them 600,000 men. And they slew among them all the mighty men of the children of Seir, the whole right. There were only a few of them left. And they slew also a great many of the children of the east. And the children of Esau. And Eliphaz, the son of Esau, and the children of the east all fled before Joseph and his brethren. Verse 10. And Joseph and his brethren pursued them until they came unto Sukkot. They And they yet slew of them Sukkot, 30 men. And the rest escaped, and they fled each to his city. 11. And Joseph and his brethren and the mighty men of Egypt turned back from them with joy and cheerfulness of heart, for they had smitten all their enemies. Twelve. And Zipro, and Zipro, the son of Eliphaz, and his men were still slaves in Egypt to the sons of Jacob. Let's read that again. And Zipra, the son of Eliphaz, and his men were still slaves in Egypt to the sons of Jacob, and their pains increased. 13. And when the sons of Esau and the sons of Seir returned to their land, the sons of Seir saw that they had all fallen into the hands of the sons of Jacob. And the people of Egypt, on account of the battle of the sons, of Esau. Verse 
14. And the sons of Seir said unto the sons of Esau, You have seen, and therefore you know, that this camp was on your account, and not one mighty man or an adept in war remaineth. 15. Now therefore, go forth from our land, go forth from us to the land of Canaan, to the land of the dwelling of your fathers. Wherefore shall your children inherit the effects of our children in latter days? Verse 16. And the children of Esau would not listen to the children of Seir. And the children of Seir considered to make war with them. 17. And the children of Esau sent secretly to a gene, a James king of Africa. The saying is diabol, saying, send unto us, verse 18, send unto us some of thy men and let them come unto us. And we will fight together with the children of Seir, the Horites, for they have resolved to fight with us to drive us away from the land. And verse 19, and in Jesus, king of Diabar, did so, for he was in those days friendly to the children of Esau. And Angis sent for 500 built violence infantry to the children of Esau and 800 cavalry. 20. And the children of Seir sent unto the children of the east and unto the children of Midian, saying, You have seen what the children of Esau have done unto us, upon whose account we are almost all destroyed in the battle with the sons of Jacob. 21. Now therefore come unto us and assist us, and we will fight them together, and we will drive them from the land and be avenged of the cause of our brethren, who died for their sake in their battle with their brethren, the sons of Jacob. 22. And all the children of the east listened to the children of Seir, and they came unto them about 800 men with drawn swords. And the children of Esau fought with the children of Seir at that time in the wilderness of Paran. Verse 23, And the children of Seir prevailed them over the sons of Esau, and the children of Seir slew on that day the children of Esau. In that battle, about 200 men of the people of Angus, king of Diabal. 24. And on the second day, the children of Esau came again to fight a second time with the children of Seir. And the battle was sore upon the children of Esau this second time. And it troubled them greatly on account of the children of Seir. 25. And when the children of Esau saw that the children of Seir were more powerful than they were, some men of the children of Esau turned and assist the children of Seir, their enemies. Hmm. 26. And there fell yet of the people of the children of Esau in the second battle, 58 men of the people of Angie's king of Diabar. Interesting. Very interesting. Verse 27. And on the third day of the children of Esau heard that the sons of their brethren had turned from them to fight against them in the second battle, the children of Esau mourned when they heard this thing. 28. And they said, What shall we do unto our brethren who turned from us to assist the children of Seir? Our enemies. And the children of Esau again sent to Angus, king of the Diabol, saying, Send us again other men that with them we may fight with the children of Seir, for they have already twice been heavier than we were. Verse 30 And Angus again sent to the children of Esau about 600 valid men. And they came to assist the children of Esau. 31. And in the tenth day, 
In the tenth day, time the children of Esau again waged war with the children of Seir in the wilderness of Paran, and the battle was very severe upon the children of Seir. And the children of Esau prevailed at that time over the children of Seir. And the children of Seir were smitten before the children of Esau, and the children of Esau slew from them about 2,000 men. Verse 32, and all the mighty men of the children of Seir died in this battle, and there only remained their young children that were left in the cities. Verse 33, and all the Midians and the children of the east betook themselves to fight from that from the battle. And they left the children of Seir and fled when they saw that the battle was severe upon them. And the children of Esau pursued all the children of the east until they reached their land. 34, and the children of Esau slew yet of them about 250 men. And from the people of the children of Esau, there fell in the battle about 30 men. But this evil came upon them through their brethren turning from them to assist the children of Seir. The Horite and the children of Esau again heard of the evil doings of their brethren, and they again mourned on the count of this thing. Verse 35. And it came to pass, after the battle of the children of Esau, turned back and came home unto Seir, and the children of Esau slew those who had remained in the land of the children of Seir. They slew also their wives and little ones. They left not a soul alive except fifty young lads and damsels whom they suffered to live. And the children of Esau did not put them to death. And the lads became their slaves, and the damsels they took for wives. 36. And the children of Esau dwelt in Seir in the place of the children of Seir, and they inherit their land and took possessions of it. 37. And the children of Esau took all belonging in the land and to the children of Seir, also their flocks, their bullocks, and their goods. And all belonging to the children of Seir did the children of Esau take. And the children of Esau dwelt in the Seir, dwelt in Seir in the place of the children, children of Seir unto this day. And the children of Esau divided the land into divisions to the five sons of Esau, according to their families. Verse 38. And it came to pass in those days that the children of Esau resolved to crown a king over them in the land of which they became possessed. And they said to each other, Not so, for he shall reign over us in our land, and we shall be under his counsel, and he shall fight our battles against our enemies. And they did so. Verse 39. And the children of Esau swore, saying, that none of their brethren should ever reign over them, but a strange man who is not of their brethren, for the souls of all the children of Esau were embittered every man against his son, brother, and friend. On account of the evil day sustained from their brethren when they fought with the children of sin. Verse 40. Therefore, the sons of Esau swore, saying, From that day forward, they would not choose a king from their brethren, but one from a strange land unto this day. 41. And there was a man there from the people of Angus, king of Diabal. His name was Bela, the son of Beor, who was a very valiant man, beautiful and comely and wise in all wisdom and a man of sense and counsel. And there was none of the people of Angus like unto him. 42. And all the children of Esau took him and anointed him, and they crowned him for a king, and they bowed down to him. And they said unto him, May the king live, may the king live. 43. And they spread out the sheep, and they brought him each 
man earnings of gold and silver and rings of bracelets, and they made him very rich in silver and in gold and in oxen stones and bellium. And they made him a royal throne, and they placed a regal crown upon his head. That's right, a crown upon his head. Let's take a quick music break, and we'll be right back. Read it. Verse 12. Amos chapter 8, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And they shall wander from sea to sea. That means you're going from this place to this place. Well, let me go over here. Oh, I don't like that. Well, let me go over to the Christian church. I don't know. Well, maybe let me go into Hinduism. Christ Church, the music and words of the gathering and Christ Church, the gathering of Christ Church. Don't forget, Search Engine will be on tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time at Blog Talk Radio forward slash gathering of Christ Church, or just punch in G O C C H U R C H right here on Blog Talk Radio. Just want to let you know we're just about finished with the book of Jasher, chapter 57, and uh, we will be back tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow with chapter 58. And now let's conclude the book of Jasher, chapter 57, verse 42 again. And all the children of Esau took him and anointed him, and they crowned him for a king. And they bowed down to him, and they said unto him, May the king live, may the king live. 43, and they spread out the sheep, and they brought him each man earnings of gold and silver or rings or bracelets. And they made him very rich in silver and in gold, in oxen, stones, and building. And they made him a royal throne. 
and they placed a regal crown upon his head, and they built a palace for him, and he dwelt therein, and he became king over all the children of Esau. As you know, this is the uh, getting ready to get set up the Greek Empire as well as the Roman Empire because they are the descendants of the children of Esau. Verse 44. And the people of Angus took their their hire for their battle from the children of Esau, and they went and returned at that time to their master in Diabah. And 45, final verse, and Bela reigned over the children of Esau 30 years, and the children of Esau dwelt in the land instead of the children of Seir, and they dwelt securely in their stead unto this day. This concludes the book of Jasher chapter 57. The book of Jasher chapter 57. I hope you all have uh, gathered much of the battles that we've had. Now that the children of Jacob are settled in Egypt for a period of time, we will find out in later chapters that they stayed a little bit too long, and having on that lifestyle and bringing on the Egyptian culture to the Hebrews, the Most High was not pleased, and therefore they went into slavery. So until tomorrow night, we're going to go ahead and cut it just a few minutes short, and uh, hopefully you all have learned much review the lesson, and we will see you tomorrow right here on Let's Talk, brought to you by the Men in Power organization on the Block Talk Radio Network at blocktalkradio.com. Here's Uriah featuring, here's Hen featuring Uriah. I know who you are, but do you know who you are? Shalom. I know who you are, yeah, I say, I know who you are, yeah, uh, yeah, come on, we stiff neck, we wild, we on the corner, wildin' out, we ignorant, we proud, rebellious, I I know who you are, boy, you need some help, open your mind and free yourself, truth and knowledge over power's wealth, put education on the shelf and take a second look, and see what y'all can do. Fall in love with a bunch of crooks and forget you the children of that book. To the enemies they told you, made you believe anything they told you. Then left you with two decisions, you could choose death or choose religion. But you fell off Jacob's ladder, then chose to listen to the master. Got caught in the devil's rapture, and now your life is a whole disaster. Yeah, I said, I know who you are. I know who you are.
We proud. We badly us. I style. Ah, ah. I know the keepers of the law We're standing tall Staying righteous above them all What's the call, coach? Yeah. The other teams fit with many men The small soul Cause uh-huh. they don't know the identity But I do so they envy me yeah. Cause you're a nation of people That's so rebellious Accusers uh-huh. of your brother When he speaks the truth You get jealous But, yeah. but I stay one of four With all my righteous fellas Cause uh-huh. you know who we are There's nothing else that you can tell us nothing. Yeah, I said I know who you are I know who you are, 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 are. And I know where you're going Yeah, I said I know who you are I know who you are, are, are. And I know where you're Oh, oh. 